Hello everyone, so in this lesson we have a 5 kilogram ball that is going to start at A from rest and it's going to roll, roll down this slope which they said is a rough slope and it's going to reach point B which is on the ground at a velocity of 10 meters per second. We need to determine the force of friction. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to know the mechanical energy of the object at A. So we know that mechanical energy is equal to the following. Now at point A, the object is at rest and so it doesn't have kinetic energy, it only has potential energy. The formula for potential energy is the following. And so the potential energy is going to be equal to its mass which is 5 times by gravity which is 9.8 times by the height which is 10. And that's going to give you 490 joules. So the energy of the object at A is 490 joules. Now if there was absolutely no friction and the object was simply falling due to gravity, then it would also have 490 joules down here at the bottom. But let's see how much energy it actually has. They've given us the velocity at the bottom, and so we know that mechanical energy is equal to potential plus kinetic. However, it's on the ground, and so at point B, it would have no potential energy. So we can cross that out, and so the kinetic energy is all that we need to look at. We know that kinetic energy is equal to the following, and that's going to give us 250 joules. And so check how cool that is. If there was no friction, the mechanical energy at B would be 490. But because of friction, it's, we only have 250 joules. And so if we say, if we want to work out the energy that was lost, so I'm going to say E lost, then it's 490 minus 250, and that's 240 joules. That is the energy that was lost, and that lost energy is due to friction. And so what we can now do is we can use the following, we can use the work formula where we, we know that the energy due to friction is 240. But because it's taking energy away, we must, we can put a negative over here because it's negative energy. Then we can look, type in the force, which we don't know what that is. The distance of the slope or the length of the slope is 20. Even though it's not a straight line, we know how long the pathway is. And then at any given point, no matter where that ball is, friction will always be going the other way. So even when the ball's here, friction will be doing this. When the ball's here, friction will be doing that. So friction's direction, this angle of these arrows will be changing. For example, over here, it would go like that. But at any given moment, it's always going to be going at 180 degrees to the direction of motion. And so we're going to have to say cos 180. And so there we can go work out the force. And so the force of friction is going to be equal to 12 Newtons. And so that's a very important question. I trust that most of you have understood that and thank you for watching.